Hey guys, how you doing? It's been a while since I uh, made a video, so I thought I'd better uh, show you guys what I'm doing this afternoon. Um, so I'm going to install this Turbo Smart oil pressure regulator. It's for your turbo. Bit of background info: um, I've got an M1 GDR oil pump um, on this VL. It's got billet gears. It makes uh, a shit ton of oil pressure. Um, so. Garrett recommends that no more than 40 psi of oil pressure should go into their turbos. I am exceeding that um, a lot, particularly when I rev the car out, it gets monster oil pressure. Even at idle, I get 40 psi, um, which is pretty big. Um, so you can only imagine what I get cold. Um, the reason why you install oil uh, pressure regulators for your turbo is just to prevent that exceedance and so you don't get unnecessary uh, oil burn from your turbo when when it's on on boost uh, how this works so uh, inlet um, so your oil pressure feed will go into this side in the inlet and then the outlet will go to your uh, turbo and then down the bottom is uh, your bypass so the regulator will actually bypass a certain amount of oil or oil pressure I should say um, to reduce that to 40 psi so I was originally going to return this back to the sump because I've got a nice big dash tan uh, line. Um, however, it is ridiculously close to the engine mount and I can't get this 90 degree fitting on without doing some crazy ass grinding to my engine mount and I'm not keen to do that. So plan B is um, to return it straight to uh, the oil cap. So I actually seen Turbo Smart actually do this on one of their um, one of their trial cars, um, and it seems to work okay. Um, and it should be pretty straightforward to do, and I don't have to worry about all those extra uh, lines that I need to run and all that kind of stuff, other uh, potential sources, for oil leaks and stuff like that. So the uh, normal VL um, oil filler cap is a little bit different to this um, and it wasn't going to work because of how thin um, and uh, wide the actual uh, handle grip is on the top of the oil cap so I had a quick look at my uh, awesome N15 Pulsar N15? N16? I don't know what it is it's a Pulsar anyway super economical anyway um, the oil cap is the same thread and it's a different design and if you can see in there I can just draw a hole straight down the middle of it um, tap a thread and then put my fit in on top like that um, yeah it's going to be a little bit of a pain to do oil changes on top of oil because I'm going to have this thing on top but I can just undo um, the turbo feed um, off either side and that'll just screw off so quick and easy solution uh, like I said it's plan B it's not the way that I was keen to do it but I feel like this is gonna work and it's gonna be uh, pretty simple to do all right so you see I've got it mounted up it's um, pretty solid and I just wanted to touch on some of you probably thinking oh, why didn't you have a uh, restrictor for your turbo and I did I had the, uh, what is it, one mil restrictor for a ball bearing turbo. So the thing about restrictors is they only restrict flow, they don't actually uh, reduce the pressure. So even though I had a restricted flow, my pressure was so high, I was uh, exceeding the manufacturer's uh, specifications in regards to how much uh, oil pressure that turbo can get. So what I've done is I've drilled out the restrictor because um, that's what turbo smart recommend you do um, and yeah i'm gonna put this thing together my lines and everything like that look like they're gonna line up pretty well and um, we'll kick it in the guts and we'll see if we get a uh, 40 psi on this gauge 
So I'm just going to throw in this um, drilled out restrictor. And nip this up. quickly and um, turn it over a little bit and get some oil pressure Um, let's start it and see what happens. Cool, so I was getting um, 55 PSI, so obviously the oil is cold, so I'm going to hope that when I um, warm the car fully up, that it should come down to 40. So what I might do is um, take it off the jack stands, lower the car down, and um, yeah, let it warm up fully, and then reassess, and then check everything for leaks. As you can see here, VL oil cap on the uh, Pulsar. So thank you Nissan Pulsar for giving me your oil cap so I could uh, drill holes into it. All right, so I'm just gonna take it for a quick shakedown um, and then I'll come back and I'll, uh, I'll check it all, uh, make sure there's no leaks again and um, see what this regulator is uh, doing once the oil is fully warmed up uh, like I said when I first started it I was at 55 psi um, 
had idling for a little bit in the driveway it went down to 50 um, so yeah I'm keen to see if it actually does indeed get down to uh, 40 psi so it's non adjustable um, to my understanding so it should uh, in theory live up to its name of being a 40 psi regulator and um, yeah, regulate it down to 40 psi. So we'll see. If not, then yeah, I guess Turbo Smart's a liar, and um, we'll go from there. But they do say troubleshooting um, if your oil pressure exceeds um, 50 psi uh, to the turbo. It says uh, check your return. Um, and make sure that there's no uh, no blockages or interference with that. So me having it going uh, straight into the uh, oil cap itself. This dude in a Mustang's a bit of a dickhead. Just pulled out on me. Anyway, um, where was I? Yeah, so noting that I've got it going straight into uh, the top of my cap, tappet cover from the um, oil cap, there's no restriction, right? So we'll, um, we'll see what happens. Right, I just went for a quick drive, or well, actually a long drive, like 20 minutes, half an hour. Um, and when I got back, uh, checked for leaks, no leaks, and also checked the oil pressure at the regulator and it was hovering between 35 and 40 so it is doing what it's meant to do um, I'd like to take it for a drive uh, during the daytime just to see how the turbo is with not having that restrictor installed um, and just trying to trying to make sure that I'm not uh, putting too much oil uh, into my turbo because obviously you'll just get um oil burn and stuff like that so if i see any puffs of white smoke or anything like that on boost or when i'm really getting into it um, i'll probably look at putting some form of restrictor back in maybe not the one mil uh like i had before maybe halfway in between so maybe the same size that you'd use for a um a bush type turbo or a thrust type turbo as opposed to a ball bearing but like I said I'll take it for a drive during the day and I'll suss it out and, and see what happens so anyway thanks for watching the video see you next time peace